Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I upload videos every Monday. If you're not new here, welcome back. This week's video has been, I think, long awaited, at least for some people. I know a lot of people have been wanting more daily life content, more vlogs, but I get so many questions about baby products, stuff that I love, and I usually post a lot about things that I find and I end up really enjoying or Callan really enjoys. And I share that on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me already, make sure you do that. I am a first time mama. I've been doing this for about 10 months. So I did a lot of research. I watched a lot of YouTube videos. I found a lot of really great Instagram pages. So I'm going to be sharing those pages with you today. I'm going to be sharing those products that I found from newborn phase to now at 10 months. And I have no plan at stopping. This video is definitely for new mamas, expecting mamas. If you think that you might even have a baby in the future, I hope that you'll find this video super helpful. And now you don't have to do everything like me take this video as like a helpful hint as to what might also work for you as well there are a lot a lot a lot of options if you don't have a crazy budget i didn't don't let this video make you feel like anything less than a great mom because you are you don't need a lot of this stuff but there are ways to definitely make your life a little easier and there are also ways to finesse the system a little bit. There was a mattress that I just really, really wanted. It was the Newton Baby Crib mattress. It's like, I think it retailed like 500 or something crazy. I really, really wanted it, but I couldn't justify spending $500 on a mattress. What? So I went on Facebook Marketplace and I found the thing for like 150 bucks. So I don't wanna make anyone feel like you have to buy this or you have to do this in order to be a good mom. These are just things that I love, they worked for us, and they might not even work for you, but it's just a suggestion. First things first, taking care of babies. If you don't follow her, make sure you do that. I got her sleep course and not only was it helpful as far as someone telling me who is licensed, who knows what they're doing, how to create a schedule for my son and how to make sure um, he sleeps throughout the night. But it was helpful as a mother reading this content knowing that what I was doing was okay. Cause you know, everything in your head, you're like, is this wrong? Am I doing this wrong? Is this right? Is this helping? Is this hurting? Reading Kara's words in the sleep course honestly just made me feel more comfortable, period. So if there's anything I can suggest, it's definitely the sleeping course for taking care of babies. She also does a newborn course. I definitely would recommend that. It's something that I didn't do, but I will definitely do with the next baby that we decide to have much, much further down the road. We, we did the, I think it was the five month sleep course, three to five months. I'm pretty sure is what it was. I'll link it down below. I'm not affiliated in any way with taking care of babies. I just am a true believer in what she does. Now, I follow a pretty strict schedule and I always have, and obviously that schedule changes as Callan grows and develops. Not because I'm a Nazi, not because I'm a helicopter parent, but because when my child is tired, when he is fed up, when he has not had all of his basic needs met, he's an asshole. <laughs> I mean, there's no other way around it. When I'm hangry, when I haven't had a good night's rest or a good nap, I'm an asshole too. I don't know who wouldn't be. And other people really enjoy my son and meeting him and spending time with him because he's a well-rested baby and I keep him on that good schedule. And I take a lot of pride in that. Definitely get on that. I cannot stress it enough. Something I picked up from Kara's course was his sleeping environment. So first things first, I do have a little playroom. So this room is kind of my dressing room, but it's slowly turning into Callan's playroom. I keep these two bins of toys and I'll interchange and replace the toys as we kind of go along. Right now it's kind of a mess because changing out toys is a lot um, harder than it sounds, but I'm a huge believer in separating play and sleep. And here's why. Whenever he enters into his nursery, I want him to have one thing on his mind. I guess what it is. Sleep. Sleep. So I'm very minimal about the crazy books that I have here. I gotta get more of these little shelves. They are amazing. I don't have many toys throughout here. I have some, but basically it's just crib. Something I really suggest is investing in a really great 
changing table. This is a dresser he will have for the rest of his life. This is something that came from Ikea and it came as a gift to me. It's the perfect height and I have his changing table right here on top in a little changing um, pad holder. At the top of my list for things that you definitely need, right here, my Hatch Baby Rust Plus. This is my go-to must-have. It's not really something I recommend traveling with because I think we traveled with it one time to Florida and I don't know, somehow it broke. And somehow one of the buttons got a little destroyed and it's been stuck. Whenever I turn it on white noise, it just is at the highest volume possible. So honestly, I'll just stick it into this drawer and kind of muffle the sound a little bit and it works fine. I just don't wanna to have to go buy <laughs> another one. Sleep is super important. So I do use blackout curtains. You can tell they make a huge difference. This room gets so dark because of these curtains. This is not something I bought. It's something that came with Zach when we moved in together but it makes the room completely dark even midday in the brightest brightest of days because I don't even like sleeping in a super light lit area why would Callan? I've got a fan overhead that reduces the risk of SIDS as well um, in the first year of baby's life which is kind of crazy I had no idea about that but this one came from like Home Depot it's also remote operated. A product I recommend, which is completely nasty, is the Nose Frida. I have it around here somewhere, but I'll just describe it to you. So basically one end goes in the baby's nose and the other goes in your mouth. So you suck out the booger. I know it sounds crazy. There's obviously something in between a little piece of foam that catches the boogers. It's kind of nasty, but you know what? It does the job. It does the job so much better than those little bulbs do. I don't have a lot of luck with those. I shared this drying rack on my Amazon favorites video, I think. It is so convenient. I just wash the bottles here and then throw them up here. It just sits on the wall so perfectly and discreetly. All right, it's a little later now. It's been a few hours. Callan woke up, I fed him. We watched some Veggie Tales. It's kind of been a crazy day. But next product that I'm going to show you is not really a baby product. It's not something you 100% need, but it's really nice to have. This is my Gather Gather Mat. So it's completely leather, water resistant. If you get anything on it, you just wash it right off. You don't have to stick it into the laundry. It's super versatile. You can use it in the park. That's usually what we do. The beach, it makes a good little picnic blanket. It's so nice and thin that I just fold it up and I can throw it into my diaper bag and it's really lightweight. I'm pretty sure this is the midi and I'm not exactly sure what the color is. I think it's like smoke or something. I don't think that's right. I'll link it below. It's nice because a blanket or a towel will usually pick up little granules of sand or grass, whatever it may be. And this does not do that. Thank God. Something we really, really loved was our Mamaru. We got the Mamaru. I think it was the latest model um, when Callan was, before he was even born. So I did go on Facebook Marketplace to purchase our Mama Reel. I bought all new inserts. You can do all of that good stuff on your mom's website. That is something I ended up selling again on Facebook Marketplace. All right, moving on to diaper bags. The first bag I have is the Hat Brand Levy Backpack. It comes in a few colors, but I picked black with these beautiful gold embellishments. That fabric is water-resistant nylon that protects against spills. It has a zippered main flap that opens wide so you can see everything inside. It has a zippered front pocket right there where that little braided herringbone type fabric is. And then it has four interior pockets as well as this super convenient mesh pocket on the inside of that flap for easy access for really anything. I have to say, the herringbone style at the bottom of this bag is what really caught my eye and made me fall in love with this bag. But right there in that first little pouch, I keep most of our emergency first aid type things. It's super convenient and it allows me to grab it really quick in case of an emergency. And there are those four interior pouches. Now it's really great because you can still stack things in the middle of that bag, but you can also have easy access to diapers and any other miscellaneous things inside the bag. On the back here, there is a discreet little magnet pocket. You could fit it in a laptop there if you'd like. There are side pockets that store a bottle perfectly. There's no issue on room there. And the bottom is structured, so if you sit it down, it's not going anywhere. See those cute little legs? 
Here's what it looks like on. You can even wear it as a backpack or as a crossbody side bag as well. It's super easy to just unhook those little latches and do whatever you like. This is my fall bag. <laughs> I'm pretty in love with it. The second bag I have is my more frequently used summer bag. It's the Fawn Design Original Diaper Bag in the color brown. It comes in a few different colors, but I opted for brown. The only problem I have with it is that these side pockets don't really fit a bottle easily if you have it packed full to the brim. But these front pockets are great. It comes with a whopping 12 pockets. Just like the hat bag, it does come with this back pocket to conveniently store a laptop or in my case a firearm. But this zipper is so easy to unzip, it's like unzipping butter. It's so weird to say that, but it's true. It's a mess in here, so don't judge. But there are your four pockets as well as one big one with a zipper. I know this sounds weird, but when I set the bag down on its own, it doesn't really stay upright well. That's my only complaint. But the vegan leather is gorgeous. I can't seem to find my other strap, but it can be worn as a backpack or messenger style. I get so many questions about what bottles should I have on hand? What if my baby doesn't take to um, my breast or whatever bottles I have on hand? There are so many sites that offer free samples. Um, I forget, if I can find the website that I found, I will definitely link that as well. But I found a site that basically let me try a whole bunch of different baby products for free. All I had to do was basically fill out a survey or something like that. And they sent me like a big box with formulas, with bottles, with diapers, wipes, all different kinds of stuff to try. I found a lot of those popping up in my ads on Facebook. And so honestly, I'd fill them all out. There were so, so many and they had so many good products and toys. It's kind of nice to have, to be honest. So this is the mattress I was talking about. I think it's like $300 retail, right? Um, they have a couple different ones, like ranging from like 250 to 350. So I think we got the $350 one actually, and I found it on Facebook Marketplace for I think what $150? Something like that. So it's super breathable material. So if he were to be face down in the mattress, he's still able to breathe. It's 100 percent washable, no mold, it's like anti-microbial. Microbacterial. <laughs> <laughs> well yeah, it's breathable, so like it helps him like regulate their heat better and basically just be have like a more comfortable sleep thanks babe right smush <laughs> so yeah it's super easy to clean all you have to do is just take off your sheets to wash it and you can put it into the washer super super easy to clean but we did that a lot honestly um there were things that we wanted that were super, super expensive that we couldn't even justify and we couldn't even justify paying full price for. And we just went on Facebook Marketplace and found for like, what, a fraction of the price? Half off. Yeah. 70% off. It was crazy. If price is something you think is holding you back from buying what you want, maybe look on Mercari, price up, offer up, whatever it is, and see if you can find those products cheaper. If you are planning to have a baby shower, I highly suggest having a baby shower. This is something you can just do that's fun for your guests. And you say, you know, if you bring a box of diapers or a thing of wipes, you get entered into a raffle and the winner of the raffle will win some kind of prize. My mother-in-law did that for our baby shower and it was literally the best idea ever. We still have diapers, Callan's 10 months old now. And that's a huge deal because diapers and wipes are expensive. Moving on, I have a few Instagram accounts that I have really enjoyed following. They are just really, really great accounts. The first one is Big Little Feelings and it's ran by a child therapist. She's also a mom of two, but she specializes in toddler tantrums and problems. She shares a lot of content about how to talk to your child. And that's a huge thing, following her now at 10 months. And I feel like talking to him like an adult is a huge, huge thing. I don't talk to him like he's a baby. I talk to him like he's, I talk to him like I talk to you or my fiance. I treat him like a little human being because he is a little human being and he understands me. And I feel like articulating how I feel in situations or what I'm doing only contributes to his growth and development. She also shares a lot of information on how to handle toddler tantrums. <laughs> toddler tantrums? 
If you are breastfeeding, I highly suggest following Lactation Link or Milk Sprouts. She is a breastfeeding and pumping expert. She shares a lot of great information on pumping, breastfeeding. I learned something from her about unclogging my ducts in my haka and it literally changed my life. She also does online consults and that's super super great especially if you are dealing with having a baby in quarantine, postpartum, in a pandemic, all of that good stuff if you feel uncomfortable going back to your hospital. Luckily I had Callan right before COVID hit so I did go to my hospital after giving birth and I did visit with the lactation specialist and it really helped a lot so if you are breastfeeding I really highly suggest that I know that not a lot of people have really great lactation consultants in their hospitals but if you utilize that resource I'm sure you can find someone who will make a difference for you because I really did she really did go the extra mile for me and it made a huge difference as baby starts to get older mother could is a great 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 resource as far as child play goes. She shares how to play thoughtfully with your child, sensory activities, recipes that are super easy. I've been following her for quite a while. Honestly, before I even thought of Callan, I was like, these are important things that I love and would love to use with my child one day. Moving on to something that is super, super important to me, Callan's play. So I follow Montessori type based guidelines for Callan's playtime. If you don't know what Montessori is, it's basically a child-centered educational approach and it's based on observations of children. It attempts to develop children emotionally, physically, cognitively, and socially. I found this brand called Love Every and they make play kits and each play kit is specially designed and curated for your child's, for your child's age and brain development. We get the nicest toys here, are just a few from them. And what's really important to me when it comes to Callan's playtime is he gets toys that are sustainable, that are nice quality, that will last. Things that I can buy one time and keep for pretty much ever until we have another baby, things like that. So, you know, right here, we've got pulling things out of the box, putting them back in. All of these toys are based on Montessori teaching techniques. I am really, really, really obsessed with this brand. Another great thing to buy are pop-up books and other sensory type books. Callan is obsessed with these. I got these from Target and these are his favorite. Every page is a different texture. I'll link some of those below. But all right, you guys, my hair is literally completely dyed today throughout the course of this video. I've literally been filming this since about like, I want to say 11. It's six o'clock now, but I'm changed. I'm going to get ready to go out tonight. I've tried my best to link everything in the description box below, but I really, really hope this video has been helpful to you guys. New mamas, new daddies, whoever, whatever you might be. Having a baby has been the best thing that ever happened to me. I have learned so, so much and I hope that some of these products make a huge difference in your life because a lot of them have made a huge difference in mine. I hope that these accounts completely change your life and how you talk to your children, even how you talk to other people because I think sometimes we forget that little humans are just little tiny versions of us and it can be hard in the moment to understand that but it's our job to teach and create better humans if you guys liked videos like this make sure to tell me below in the comments and give this video a like if you like me make sure you subscribe before you leave today i saw online that it really does make a huge difference when you like and comment and i know youtube is having a hard time pushing videos out there and getting people's videos seen but i really do want to share things that made a difference for us i am also going to share a link to my baby registry this is not something that you need to send me i don't even think you can anymore but it is a great little way to see what your registry should look like some things that i've included that made a huge difference links to them as well. What I wanted on my actual registry, I've updated a few things. Don't send me anything, just a reference. As always, it was a pleasure spending whatever day I end up uploading this video on with you. <laughs> and I will see you in the next one. Bye.